A few weeks ago, I released a video called Exposure Doesn't Pay Your Bills, Know Your Worth, talking about how knowing your worth is the first step to making money as a photographer and a filmmaker. But I received a comment that actually posed a very good question. The comment simply said, I know that I shouldn't work for free, but what do I do if I live in a country that doesn't value photography at all? How do I grow? How do I run a business? And I think that is an excellent topic to dive into today. All right, guys, wait, what happened to the color grading? There we go. Speaking of color grading, now is a great time to talk to you about our sponsor, myself. I have created my DaVinci Resolve color grading course to help you guys add a pro cinematic finish to all of your films. In this course, you get to dive in quickly, you get me as your mentor, and I guarantee within two weeks, you guys will see results. You guys can enroll in my DaVinci Resolve color grading course in the card up here or in the link in the description down below. Anyway, back to the video. What's good, everybody? For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Sydney Baker Green. I'm an international photographer and cinematographer. And like I said, we're going to dive right into this video and really unpack how do you make money in photography and filmmaking if the people in your country, which can feel like almost anywhere in this world, don't value that skill set. So the first step is to understand that actually there are people all across this globe in every single country that value photography and filmmaking. Chances are you just haven't found them yet. I've heard this from my friends in Indonesia saying I'd love to be a photographer, but they just don't value photography here. And the thing is, is that in every country there is an ideal set of people who do know the value of photography, whether it's heirloom photos, if you're doing wedding, whether it's a marketing in a business. And that also goes the same thing with filmmaking. Do they want an heirloom video? They understand the value of that as well as businesses and brands understanding the marketing aspect of having photo and video. There are people out there willing to pay $6,000 to $10,000 for gigs and even more. So I don't want us to start blaming our lack of success on circumstances, but rather let's just figure out how to get around those circumstances where the process starts in step two. Step two is to identify the people in our country willing to pay this premium price for photography and filmmaking. Now, this may not be the same for everybody, but I can guarantee you that there are people in your country who are willing to pay good money for wedding photos and wedding videos, and I can guarantee you more often than not, there are definitely brands, if not even in your current area, who are willing to pay for photo and video, especially when it comes to marketing. So once you've identified that group of people, you now know how to market to them through your social media. All you have to do is show up on social media where they are. And if it's a brand and business, it does not hurt to reach out. We'll talk a little bit more about that later, but look around your town, look at Instagram in your area and big cities or big wedding venues. There has to be a big wedding venue around you or a big business that does market. Once you identify that, you now know where exactly you need to focus your your efforts and now you kind of at least have an end goal on where you need to be. Social media marketing is a whole concept in another video, but you might be asking yourself, okay, Sydney, I get it. There is a bride out there or there is a couple out there willing to pay for wedding photos and there are businesses out there who are willing to pay money for marketing, but I don't have those type of connections. Where do I start? Well, that's where step three comes in. And this one is the one that I really didn't understand for the longest when my photography business was not doing so well in the very beginning. And that's, I need to surround myself with the right people. And you know, I, my feelings were really hurt in my business because I, in the very beginning at least, because I couldn't even book a photo shoot or a senior photo shoot for only asking for $50. And, Obviously, the problem was is that I was marketing to the wrong people and when I was marketing on Facebook, I was surrounding myself with the wrong people, which were my friends who were most definitely out of my price range and for the most part, who were people who really didn't understand the value of photography and filmmaking. So this is where our networking skills come in where we need to start surrounding ourselves with business owners who are like-minded when it comes to photo and video, with photographers and filmmakers who are like-minded when it comes to photo and video, and also 
also start surrounding ourselves on social media, whether it be in tags or anything like that, in our area that have the right idea when it comes to photo and video. Now, all of that being said, the biggest thing is to start trying to find some type of way to network, whether it's cold calling companies or whether it's just reaching out to one of your favorite artists and asking, hey, you know, can we go get coffee? Now, this brings us into the fourth and final step, which is very important, and that is go about networking the right way. If there is one thing I hate in my business, it's when I get a very self-serving email. Now, that is the cautionary tale when we're reaching out to businesses or to people. If you see a couple and like, hey, can I shoot you? If you do wanna start building your portfolio or hey, are you interested in family photos? If you start reaching out to people on social media like that, don't make it sound so self-serving. It's very easy for us as photographers and filmmakers to be like, hey, I do this, 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 and this, instead of when we're approaching a brand or a business or even a person, how can I help you? What is it that you need? What exactly are you looking to accomplish in your business? What problem do you need to solve? It only takes one sentence to say, hi, my name is Sydney. I'm a photographer, filmmaker. I run a production company in Grand Rapids, and this is what I do. I wanna know more about you. What is it that you're looking to do, et cetera, et cetera. See, I just had to have one sentence about me, and I can go into how I can help them later on versus the emails that I get that are all about, hey, Sydney, I like your channel, here's my product, it would be great exposure for you even though it's fashion and I don't run a fashion channel. I run a photography and filmmaking channel. So right there, I already feel like they don't know who I am because I feel like they just saw I had a big following, all they want is my numbers and they want me to promote a product and that doesn't make me feel good. So chances are, I'm not gonna respond to you. You can send as many emails as you want to. I just feel like you care about my following. And so that's what we don't want brands, businesses, or anybody to feel like, is that we just care about the numbers. And most of the time, for us, that's money. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope I helped clear up how we can really change our mindset when it comes to people not valuing photography in this world. It is a very real problem. It is something I felt like I deal with and sometimes still feel like I deal with today in the United States, which a lot of people believe to be the photography and filmmaking entrepreneur capital of the world. We collectively as business owners just have to surround ourselves with the right people. If you guys like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications if you already have not, and be sure to follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below, as well as the YouTube fam. Their links are also in the description down below. If you are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, remember, Every day, airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.